Let's keep a little bit of an update, a little bit of on where we're at with the team. We had to get rid of a lot of people because honestly, our cap was completely blown up and we are long-term married to Dak Prescott. He eats up so much cap room that it has basically hindered us in every way. Every single position group is hurting right now. We drafted a rookie running back because we had to get rid of Ezekiel Elliott. We had to get rid of Amari Cooper. Like this team is hurting bad. We're trying to make do with whatever we can and we're trying to rebuild through the draft. This is a tough team to work with right now. Tavon Lowell, I think I want to keep all his stat points. I have him at tight end right now. He's a receiver. We drafted this guy at receiver. He is 6'2", 229. He is fast, 92 speed at 230 pounds. What we did is we put him at tight end because we wanted to utilize him a little bit better. Okay, so the quest for this week is beat the Colts and commit one or fewer turnovers. We are gonna have a full pads week of practice and we're gonna get the starters in there. Okay, we're gonna give them some, some good practice this week. Good practice. Oh no, dude. Look at how much fatigue the D-line took. The D, that's so bad, dude. I had them go full pads this week. It's a short week. I shouldn't have given them full pads on a short week. Frick! Okay, what playbook do we wanna use? Let's use a playbook we haven't tried yet. Let's try the Chargers. What the hell happened to this damn carpet? Hey. Hey, we gotta respect our damn area, okay? Coming in here trying to run a damn dadgum football team. And what happens? This is bullshit, okay? Commitment to excellence, okay? Best of the standard. That's all I care about. Hey, hey, listen, I just ask that you do your best. If your best is a C plus, if you're a C average student, then that's great, that's fine. Just do your damn best. I bought some ice cream for the team. I'll keep it in my jock strap during the game. If you want any, let me know. Hope you like pistachio nut. No, listen, we're not eating no dad gum ice cream. <laughs> I know this team's 0-4. I know this is a short week of practice. I know some people are being a little bit lackadaisical because I said, hey, we're going full pads. You know why you went full pads, son? It's because it's early in the season. I don't want anybody thinking that we're gonna take the week off and we're gonna take it easy because it's a short week of practice, okay? There's a time and a place. And week four of the season, week five of the season, excuse me, Ain't that time or place. I expect us to not throw a single damn interception. No fumbles, no interception. That's the goal for today. And just because they are 0-4 don't mean they're gonna take it easy on This ain't gonna be an easy game. There ain't no dadgum easy games in the NFL, okay? So let's go out there, let's kick some ass, no turnovers. Dak, break them out, let's go. To throw, it's wins. Okay. Oh my! <laughs> oh, good hit, dude. No, come on. Oh, he stopped him. Okay, hey, hey, we're gonna get a stop right here. Come on, dude. Really? If you score on your first drive, I'll give ten subs. Okay, okay. If I score on the first drive, Keg Rodeo Clown says he's gonna get 10 subs, okay. Better. It's always best to clean up things. Oh, yes, money, dude. The Colts are one Nice. Oh, Greg Murray. Greg Murray. Greg Murray is the rookie running back that we drafted. Okay, let's go. Oh, money, right here. Yes. Touchdown, rookie receiver. Keg Rodeo Clown, dude, living up to his bet. Ten gifted subs. Thank you, Keg Rodeo Clown. But we have the resources we need right here in this room. Frick. Throwing on first is Wentz. Oh, come on. Dude, my secondary is just getting torched. What? Okay, maybe I made a mistake making them go full pads. Look at, dude, they're all tired already. Third and goal, third and goal. If we stop them here, it's a field goal. Looking to run with Mack, and he's in to the third down. It's Prescott. <sighs> and incomplete on that 40. We can't let him score before half. Here's Wentz to throw. He'll let this go for the end. Oh my. Got a man. It's Pittman. Dude, how do they get burned so bad? Okay, so I probably want to go to either Lowell or Lamb. Also, I could I could drop it down to Dixon if I need to. Prescott. Oh my! Brick, man. Okay, really, dude. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there. Okay, eyes up here. Eyes up here. I rode y'all hard this week in practice. 
I know it was a short week. I know these folks are 0-4. I know they haven't won a damn game all season. Why'd I run y'all hard? Because I knew this was going to be a hard hey, game. Coach, a hooker stole my wallet yesterday. What should I do? Why are you asking me? Hell, I, I've i been looking for my wallet all dadgum day. Did you let her in this locker room? Did she steal my damn wallet too? We absolutely cannot let them get up over top, okay? If, you're, if I'm running cover one, if I'm running cover one, if I'm calling cover one over on the sidelines, Coach, and you guys Dan go Quinn out there. Dan has been very inappropriate with me lately. Can you ask him to tone it down? He said something about it being a tradition for coaches to join players in the shower. No, there, no, that did not happen, okay? Quit joking about that. Good Lord Almighty. If you know you only got one guy back there, if, if we have one safety back, you have to give him a little bit of space. Okay, I know we're running press, but if I call press, you have to have to have to beat him on the line. Because if he gets a free release off of you, he's gone. You got to know who you're going up against. Okay, and you got to know your own ability. You got to go up a good technique. You got to press him right. You don't got to overcommit and he takes you off. You can't do that. Twice that's happened this game. Ben Malone, get that fixed in the second half. If we stop that alone, then we're good. Offensively, you don't got to push too hard. You'll be okay. Hey coach, the carpet is still messed up. You tried blaming us but I've seen a dog in here earlier. No, there was no dog in here, okay? Game's about to start. Uh, Lowell, break him out, let's go. We have to score on this drive. Hey coach, I'm thinking about retiring. Okay, you can't retire right now, it's halftime. Tebow! Coach Tony Tebow. Romo is out in the parking lot and wants to play, can he come in? No, Tony Romo cannot play, okay? He has another job now. Oh, money. Nice throw, nice catch. Nice! Michael Gallup. Nice! On the give, this is Mac. Oh Mac's no. Coach, where are my cleats? <laughs> Touchdown, Indianapolis! Touched down a moment ago, and we're right back where we started at halftime. Yeah. No! Looking what? Man, How, dude? Picked up by Kenny Moore. And this one now wins. Now that's into the hands of Mo okay. Fox, okay, that's okay. We got him in a field goal. Blankenship's kick is good. Okay, that's okay. I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play call because a one play drive. Offense! What are you. Frick, we didn't complete our quest of no turnover. Here's Prescott. Okay. Down he goes. Sack, work to be done. He's gonna rifle one deep left side. This game looks like Oh, this. come like on, dude. Oh, okay, here we go. Down. Legatron, dude. You gotta kick a field goal here. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh. Dude, he is still in it, dude. Nice. Okay, we're still in it. We gotta get a stop here. Oh, God. No! They're going right back to Pittman. He's at the 30, 20, touchdown in the How is my secondary so garbage? And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Why? Dude, that was such a bad throw. Why did you? What? That was a terrible throw. Thanks, Coach, for making this Colts team look way better than they probably are. Colts fans everywhere really appreciate it. We have no pass rush. Why is my defense so bad? I love your Madden streams. Do you play fantasy football too? The only fantasy football I play is if this damn defense could stop a damn peewee football team getting burned outside, getting burned inside, having damn running back run all over this damn team. I don't know what the hell happened. Hey coaches fan, Playboy Magazine here. What do you think about people saying your players are getting more real than our models? Look, listen. I, I don't know what is going on with this defense. I think the perfect example of what happened today defensively was on the last play of the game. We had damn near perfect pass coach, rush. There has been reports that players have been having showers with coaches. Michael no. Parsons had this to say Dan Quinn has tried to shower with me on multiple occasions. No, that's what is not. This about coach? No, that's not what happened. It's weird. Stop making the same damn joke every time, okay? I think the perfect example of what happened was on that last play, okay? Folks, you got some folks doing their damn job and some folks just ain't. That's the reality of the situation, okay? We had damn near perfect defense. Carson Wentz sitting in the damn backfield having a damn picnic and, and uh, buffet, picnic, ice cream, waiting for his damn flight, everything. 
I don't even know. He played damn four quarters of football standing right there on the last play. Coach, it's Mr. Underscore Mustache from the T3 Times. I have been covering the NFL for 27 years and I have never seen a defensive line that's just this bad. What changes are you going to make this week? I'm going to be honest with you. That was terrible D-line play. And that's exactly what I'm talking about. We had absolutely no pass rush. Coach, Cindy formerly of BuzzFeed News. They laid me off after my fourth top 10 crotches of the NFL. Anyways, would any of the Cowboys consider joining me for a business venture? I am selling essential oils and figured they need money after the losses. No, no, that is not. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. Some, some of these folks might be getting their ass fired. Maybe you can talk to them. Listen, that team was, this is the NFL, okay? It don't matter if you're 0-4 or 4-0. Any given Sunday, anything can happen. Honestly, our guys, they went in there cocky. They went in there arrogant. That was disgusting. Coach, they thought they were just going to walk all over. How do you feel about the way your team performed against Tom Brady today? That was, no. Wait, I was just informed that it was actually Carson Wentz. Okay. Wow, I'm speechless. So, change of question. Which fast food restaurant are you planning on applying to? <clears throat> Coach, the defense was certainly your primary issue, but what about the interceptions you threw this week?